Welcome to this tutorial on beginning Java. Today we're going to take a look at several concepts. And the main concept is we're going to learn how to write a file out to your hard drive. You want to import all four of these Java classes and interfaces. And we're going to go over each one of these in this video. Uh, the main thing we're going to be doing is implementing serializable, which is right here. Now, this is an interface, but it's a strange interface. And basically, it has no methods. And I mean that. Not even blank methods, which is what a normal interface usually has. Now, this is called a marker interface. And all this does, you can think of this very simply, all this does is basically tell Java, hey, I want this class to be serializable. I want to be able to write an object out to my hard drive. And that's what we're doing. We're going to write an instance of this class out to the hard drive. And what is an instance? Well, it's an object. And where does an object reside? Well, it resides out on the heap. And what are we saving? Well, we're saving the object, but specifically, we're saving the value of instance variable. And in this case, it's going to be a name. And we define the name down here as Walt. And so we'll be saving that object out to the hard drive. Now, you won't be able to read that file because it's in binary. Now, you can also write text files. And we'll get to that in a future video. So you either write binary or text files. But in this video, we're going to be writing a binary file. And so I just created a class here that will uh, allow us to assign a name, which we're doing right here. We're calling it. And that name is going to be Walt. And so this will, this will actually be the value that will be assigned to this variable. And that's really what we want to save when we save our object. Now, let's take a look at our uh, main here. I'm going to be introducing for the first time some exception handling. And this is called a try catch. Now, the try basically does all of this work. If it fails, then it hits this catch, and it'll kick out an exception. And what we're basically doing here is just kicking out a system.out.print to say, hey, an error occurred. So if this does not work, well, you will get a system.out.message that says it didn't work, basically. So that's really what a try catch is. And it's very useful if you're doing something risky. And writing files is always a little bit risky. You know, you might have a permissions issue or something might not work. So it's always good to use a try catch when you're trying to write out a file. Now, these are the two classes that we use that we specified up here file output stream and object output stream and they go hand in hand together the file output stream class which we're making an object out of called file out basically creates the file out on our hard drive and what i did here was i just called it test.scr and we're just going to put this in the c root directory now this class cannot handle objects that's why we need this object output stream class that we're creating here he actually prepares the object to be written and so these two kind of work together. He prepares the object and he creates the file. And that's why we specify the object right here. This object output stream needs to know about the file out. Now down here is where we do the actual write. And we're calling the write object method. And this is the object, of course, we're writing, which is what we did right here, where we assigned the name Walt. And so he writes it out. Now you will always put this flush right after the right object. And that basically says, hey, do this now. I want you to write this file out right now. No waiting around, just write the content out right now. And then we do a file close. And that basically closes the stream. So it's kind of a, a five step process. One, two, three, four, five. And those are the five steps you will always do. And again, if this fails, it'll hit this catch. No work will be done, and we'll kick out a system.out.print. So let's go ahead and run this and see if this works. And it said it did. Now, if this worked, we should have a file out on our C drive. So let's go take a look. And there you can see, we've got our binary file. Now, like I said, you really won't be able to look at this because this is in binary. In a future video, I will show you how to write out a text file. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.